Hi, I am Zoe with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. All of our branches are starting to decorate for winter, and we even have a couple of events lined up. My branch is doing a winter-themed drive through and I need to decorate my car. So I thought I'd take you along with me while I try to make a winter animal windshield insert. I'm not really sure how this is going to go, I haven't done it yet, so let's get started. The first step was figuring out what my windshield was even shaped like. I grabbed a chunk of paper off of one of our huge rolls and I took it outside. I grabbed a friend to help me hold it down and trace the outline of my windshield. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just looking for the general shape. Once we got my windshield all outlined, it was time to take that paper back inside and get it all cut out. I've sped that process up for you here and here's our finished windshield outline. Now my car is going to need some passengers. I've decided on winter animals and I'm thinking a penguin and a polar bear, but now I need to cut them out. So I am just going to rustle with this paper for a little bit, but I am just going to cut out a passenger sized bit of paper and I'm doing two of these so that we can draw our animals separately just in case there's any mess ups. I am going to sketch these animals. I'm not going to show you that bit because there's a lot of freedom here. You can do whatever you want. This is what my penguin sketch looked like and now let's get to painting. I would have showed you a time lapse of the hour it took for me to paint these two animals, but it would have made this video really, really long. So I'm just going to show you in stages. First, we just put the black coat on. Then I mixed up a really pretty light blue for his scarf and the base of his hat. Obviously, you can do whatever color you want here. And I added a darker blue for the outline of the scarf, the hat, that the rim of the hat, and the little puffball on top. Then we need the details, like orange for his nose and his feet, and I wanted it to look like he's so small he has to stand on a present to see out of the windshield, so we've got the base coat of blue down there. So let's just make that present look a little bit more present-like with some ribbons, some gold paint, and some sparkles for the stars on the wrapping paper. And I think our penguin is all done. Next we've got to do our polar bear. I want him to look like he's driving my car, so one arm is on the steering wheel, and it took me a little while to figure out what to do with the other arm, but I settled on this cute little wave, so let's get painting. I started by mixing up this really, really light yellow for his outline, but it didn't turn out quite how I wanted it, so let's change that. There we go, this is a little bit better. This is a gold mixed with a lot of white paint, and I was going to use it just on the insides of his ears and his nose, but it turned out to be the perfect outline color as well. All right, the simplest part is filling in all of his white fur before we move on to add the details. And now we can put on some cute little eyes, the nose, and fill in the steering wheel so it looks like he's driving. And now he's done, we just finished up with filling in this vibrant red scarf. Of course, the final step, once our animals are dry, is to cut them out. So here's our cute little penguin once he's all done, and our polar bear. I'm really happy with how these guys turned out. Let's get them on the windshield cutout. I'm just setting them on the background, no glue yet, so that I can adjust them and look at them from several angles until I am certain that the placement is exactly where I want it. I wanted this to be perfect. Once I had them in place, I could glue them down. Originally, I thought I was going to be done with just these two animals, but as I waited for the glue on them to dry, I realized that I could take it a step farther. I am adding these gorgeous cutouts of string lights, and I'm trying to make them look as natural as possible, angling them a little bit this and that way. I hope they're evenly spaced, and once I've got them all laid down, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. And now when I say I'm done, I actually mean it, and we need to take this outside to see if it fits on my car. I am so happy with how this turned out. It is absolutely adorable. It fits the windshield perfectly. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me and blindly experimenting with crafts. Here is a closer look at our finished product. And if you are inspired to make one of these too, share a photo with us. We'd love to see it. And if you enjoyed this video, stop by each week for more from Calcasieu Parish Public Library.